Cree Chats. I am Cree, and in today's episode of Cree Chats, I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey throughout my college experience. I'm going to let you guys know um, the different schools I went to and my experiences there and what I think you should do and how you should figure out your major and all that good stuff. So um, starting off, I graduated high school in 2013 and I knew that I didn't want to stay home, which is fine. If you don't want to stay home, you're good. And excuse this, my nail cracks like with some bloody mess but um but yeah so I knew I didn't want to stay home so I was well I initially wanted to go to Howard and I got accepted but that's a whole nother story about how somebody hid my acceptance later so I didn't know that I got in but that's a whole nother story okay then I um I was just like okay well I'll just go to New Orleans and I live in um I'm from Baton Rouge so New Orleans is like an hour and 30 minutes away so I was like, okay, I'll just go somewhere in, in um in New Orleans. That's you know, it's it's not home, but it's close enough, whatever. So I decided I was gonna go out there and I initially was going to go to Xavier, but Xavier is like it's either forty thousand a year. I'm pretty sure it's forty thousand a year. I don't think it's forty thousand a semester. Either way, it's expensive and no thank you. So I ended up going to UNO and that's like one of the smaller schools um i know there's delgado which is a community college there's xavier there's tulane there's dillard um there's suno i really think that might be all no there's loyola okay that might be all but um you know there's a couple of schools in new orleans and most of them are like high or they're catholic or some some shit like that but um ended up going to uno and initially i liked it you know you're in a new city you know you got new people around you know new boys or whatever new clubs and you know it's a bunch of new stuff to do and then you're in new orleans so there's always a festival a parade a fair something going on downtown like there's always something to do out there so you know i liked it initially i liked being in a new city and being around new people and all that good stuff but i ended up hating it um and being miserable and having to move back home and having to drop out and all kinds of stuff so um i would just say that go to school because it's what you love to do and because you're going to major in something that you're passionate about if your mom wants you to be a nurse so you go to nursing you're not gonna like it you're gonna drop out if your mom wants you to be a lawyer so you go to be a lawyer you know try to do law school you're not gonna like it you're gonna drop out you know if your family wants you to be a doctor if they want you to be a vet if they want you to be a therapist if it's not what you love to do you're not gonna succeed in it you can't make yourself love to do something and just because it has a lot of money in it doesn't mean that you're going to love doing it you have to do something that you truly love to do and Initially, I thought I was going to enjoy doing school. My mom always wanted me to be a nurse. I never wanted to be a nurse. I, I don't want to be a nurse. I never would want to be a nurse. I just don't want to be a nurse. And my mom always wanted me to do that. I never wanted to do it. Um, everything just isn't for everybody. I have a best friend who's a nurse, an RN, and I couldn't imagine her doing anything else, you know, and that's kind of usually how it is. Like when you meet somebody and they're passionate about what they do, you can't see them doing anything else. I can't see myself doing anything else. But, you know, being a cosmetologist and being in that field. So that's what I did and I excelled in it. But if you, you have to do what you want to do. You can't go to school, go to the school that your parents want you to go to and major in what they want you to major in. You have to do what you want to do. When you dream at night and you dream of being a dentist or you dream of being a rock star or you dream of being a model or a dog walker, whatever you want to do, that's what you have to do. You cannot go to school and pay thousands and thousands of dollars to be miserable and try to succeed at what your parents want you to do and what your family wants you to do because you're never going to be happy. Um, so that's that. Um, I honestly wasn't happy doing what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do it, um, which means I was doing bad in my, in my classes. And I'm not stupid. And anybody can tell you I ain't stupid. I'm very bright. I'm smart as hell. So if I'm doing bad, it's because I just don't want to do it. It's because I'm, I'm being lazy and I'm not going to class and I don't care and I'm not trying to put forth no effort. That's the only reason I would do bad. Because I can try a little bit and still, you know what I'm saying, do some incredible stuff. So if I'm like failing and I'm flunking out, it's because I don't want to do it and I'm not happy. And I just, I just don't care. But, um, but yeah, I got to the point where I didn't care. And then I was hanging around a lot of negative people. And I was, you know, dealing with horrible people and relationships and all kind of stuff. And 
I was like 18, 19 when all this was going on. So I was very, very young and I thought I had everything figured out. And I didn't know shit. And I was dealing with people who were a lot older than me and I thought they had it figured out, but they really didn't know shit either. And I was dealing with a lot of people who didn't know themselves and didn't know their worth and just around a lot of people who were confused and who were just jumping from group to group. I had I was dealing with so much crazy shit to where I probably only had one viable, you know, person that I could count on 24 7 and i probably had a i had a few good friends my friend who was an RN is a is a good friend of mine she's always been a good friend of mine but she was in nursing school and she was in howard and she was at lsu and that shit ain't easy you know you don't have all night to sit up and talk on the phone you know you study and you losing your shit you losing your mind you know that's a lot of hard work and the entire time I basically had my roommate Cat. So, you know, all of my stories I'm always talking about Cat. Cat basically was like my rock throughout the majority of these situations because I didn't have people around me who were at arm's reach, who had a good head on their shoulders and who were mature and, you know, who wasn't about mess and drama and, and all that other stuff. You know, you're ultimately there to get an education. You know, you're not there to meet friends, you're not there to party, you're not there to to, to have one night stands and, and get fucked up and black out. You're not there for any of that. You know, college is an essential part of your life it's supposed to be the, the best you know years of your life and my college experience was a hot ass mess because i was somewhere i didn't want to be wasting my time wasting my money and my energy for years you know i wish i would have went to school went to hair school as soon as i graduated but i didn't because i was trying to do what everybody else wanted me to do so you know um and i mean i was doing stuff like i was i was in this club called pbsu which is basically like the black student union on my very white campus so you know i did that and that was fun and you know, I, I was dancing for um, our basketball team. I become ca became captain with CAD, and that was really cool. But, you know, it was always some hating-ass female, some hating-ass bird brain that would get under my skin and piss me off. Or a dude that claimed he liked me but really would treat me like shit that would piss me off. Or a teacher that just didn't like me and would fail me for nothing that would piss me off. It's like... It was so much stuff that was going around me that was negative and I was letting it impact me. Because trust and believe, I still have a bunch of negative stuff going on, but I'm grown now. And when I was a kid, you know, you could see one rain cloud and that could ruin your whole day, ruin your whole week, ruin your atmosphere. But when you're an adult, you handle situations differently. So, you know, I feel like now if I would have put myself in that situation, I would have been good now. Like, I wouldn't have cared about the girls. I wouldn't have cared about the nappy head last boys. I wouldn't have cared about no teacher, no nothing. If you don't like me too bad, oh wait. After all of that, I ended up coming home one um, one year for Christmas and I never went back to school. And I just went and cleaned out my, my little dorm, my little apartment thing, and that was it. And I, I dropped and I didn't know if I wanted to go to Southern. I didn't know if I wanted to go to BRCC. I ended up taking classes at Southern, at BRCC, at a community college in New Orleans and at UNO. So all together, I did four schools before I, I figured out I need to go to hair school. So I did that, and um, I still wasn't happy. Like I was like, maybe I need a new, a new scenery, a new this, and I still wasn't happy. I still wasn't applying myself. I still didn't want to do it. And um, my cousin ended up telling me like, girl, why don't you go to school for hair? Like you so bomb my hair like you so good at hair like you make your own wigs you do everybody hair everybody makeup for prom for weddings for everything like that's what you are that's what you do you've always been that so why don't you do it why don't you go and go to school for hair and i never even thought about it and never even crossed my mind I'm like damn i could you know really be like styling celebrities and working on movie sets and i really can make a lot of money doing this and just never Oh, there's something on my camera. It just never was something in my head that I really could do and really could apply myself and really could, like, be so happy and so at peace doing something like that. So, you know, whenever I made the decision to, um, you know, go back to school, I went to hair school. And it was the best and the most rash decision I've ever made in my life because when I made the decision to go to school... I filled out my paperwork on like Thursday and I was starting that Tuesday. So I really didn't know what I was doing, what I was getting myself into. I didn't really look into the school that much. Um, I also didn't tell my mom about it. Like I paid for school by myself and I didn't let my mom know. My mom didn't know I was in school until like months after, like months. Like I was Ubering to school every day and I stayed far from my school, like Uber in like 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes in the afternoon with five o'clock traffic to get to and from school every day. My mama asked me one day, she was like, 
where you be going every day in all black? And I was like, I be, I'm in school. How you like me now, baby? I'm in here in school. How you like me now? You know what I'm saying? And it took her a long time to like be proud of what I was doing and be proud of my achievements and understand that this isn't just another, another, I'm going to try the college thing. This is what I love to do, you know? And I think that once, when your parents understand that you're doing what you love to do and the only way you're going to succeed is if you're doing what you love to do, I think they're going to, you know, get off your back a little bit. And I think they're going to be more, um, they're going to be more receptive to you doing what you want to do. Cause if I would have went to hair school claiming I loved it and I would have dropped out, then she would have, been even you know she would have really been over me then you know what i'm saying but when you have people in your life and they understand that you're doing what you want to do and you're not doing it just to be you know spiteful and just to be a badass but you're doing it because this is what you love to do this is what you're passionate about i think when you start doing that you'll really understand that um that that's all that matters that you have to do what you love to do and if you're if, if you do what you love you'll be successful in it you'll strive in it you know that'll be something you know that you'll you'll be amazing at you know what i'm saying like this i bet not one astronaut hates space you ain't gonna find an astronaut that just be like oh i fucking hate stars like that's not gonna happen like people who do their jobs they love what they do and if they don't love what they do then they're not good at it the best nurse in the world loves being a nurse is obsessed with being a nurse you're not gonna find like the best dentist in the world that hates teeth can't stand fucking teeth he'll see so over teeth like that's not gonna happen you have to be obsessed with your career and you have to love it and you have to be comfortable waking up every single morning and doing that from like from noon to night every single day you know 24 7 25 8 baby if you're not obsessed with what you do and you're not you know incredibly just like over the moon with it every day you just can't wait to see what clients you're gonna have and who you're gonna meet you know then you just don't need to do it like that's just something that you really just don't need to do but you know once you find something that you really love you have to pursue that and i did in in hair school so you know after you know essentially dropping out of four universities um and figuring out what i really wanted to do you know I'm 22 and I finished school and I don't have any regrets and I'm lying. I do have regret. I wish I would have went to hair school as soon as I graduated college instead of wasting all these damn years looking a fool. But you know, that's besides the point. Um, you know, you live and you learn and it's okay to, it's okay to drop out. If you don't want to do it, then drop out. It's okay to drop out. It's okay to start over. It's okay to renew yourself and renew your dreams and renew your values and renew your morals and your ethics and try to figure out what you love to do. And it's okay to start over. Don't ever think that it's okay to start over. If you are 35 and you are watching this video and you're doing something and you hate it, go back to school, figure out what you want to do, get a trade, get your certification, whatever you want to do. It is never too late to be happy and make your your passion your job. You should be able, you should want to get paid for what you love every single day. You shouldn't, it shouldn't be a drag for you to get up out of bed every morning. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't regret going to hair school at all. Going to hair school was one of the best things I ever did. It's about where I went that makes things a little tricky okay guys thank you for tuning into this episode of Cree Chats. um i hope you guys liked the part one i guess of my college journey talking about how i dropped out and why i dropped out and all that good stuff and then um i'm going to make another video about my experience in beauty school so stay tuned for that um i'm sure that's going to be very interesting so stay tuned for that um yeah thank you guys for watching um subscribe like this video um what else do i want you guys to do what else do i want you guys to do oh yeah follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter it's all gonna be in the description box below and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for viewing as always i will see you next week goodbye